Color is very important in any type of design. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about how to use color in web design. So I'm going to go through the process of choosing the colors and how to apply your colors in your builder and then show you how to actually build something with the colors that we're going to choose. Now, if you're brand new to web design, this channel is all about marketing and web design. So please do subscribe and hit the bell notification if you want to get notified when I release new tutorials. And also, before I begin, if you want to design websites using Divi, if you buy Divi using my affiliate link, I will give you access to my web design formula course that teaches you how to design professional looking websites with Divi. All right, so let's get started and let me show you how to choose colors and how to use colors for your website. All right, so what we're going to do here is we're going to start by taking a look at a website here that helps you choose colors. Now, I don't know about you, but most people struggle with this part. For some people, it's a gift that they have that they can just go in and choose colors that work well together. But even for me, I'll have to use a tool like this that helps me generate my colors. All right, so what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna generate our colors here by clicking on generate. So this is gonna give us you know, random colors. So all we have to do is to hit the space bar and this will just generate colors that work well together. So as you can see, we have different variations of colors. So what I normally do is once I see colors that I like, I would just come in here and make further adjustments. So as you can see, this palette here is very uh, flat. So ideally what you wanna do is to have colors that are dark and light because you wanna be using the dark colors on the light and the light colors on the dark to enhance the contrast. So if they're all on the same sort of like level, you know, it's gonna be bad for your design. So contrast is very important as you shall see throughout this. So over here, I'm also going to make some tweaks. I wanna make this colors here a bit dark. So I'm gonna increase my saturation here like that. And then over here, let me just see what I can do with this uh, green. Maybe make it a bit lighter. Okay, and over here, we're going to adjust this a little bit as well. So this can go in as a light gray. So I'm pretty much happy with this palette. So as you can see, I have a really dark color here and I have a really light color and I can use these colors interchangeably as I'm designing my site. So what I can do now is once I have all my colors, I would come over here to Divi, come all the way down here and click on theme, no, on theme options. So here is where you'd add your default color palette. So as you can see, I already have colors here. So let me just show you in one example how I would add my colors. So I'm gonna use, let's say this green. So I'm just gonna highlight this hexadecimal value. And then over here, just click on that and then just paste it. So now I've added my color to the color palette. So once you do that, click on save changes. Now that means I have a base for my colors. The next stage now is to build a page. And every time I build a page and I need to make any changes, add colors and so on, I'm gonna have this very same color palette following me everywhere I go as I design my website. So over here on the pages, I'm just gonna click on add new and I'm just gonna call this page colors. And then uh, click on use Divi Builder. So for this example, we're just gonna build this from scratch. So I'm gonna click on start building. And then I'm just gonna add three columns here. And let's start with a blurb. So what I'm gonna be doing now is to, I'm gonna be using the colors that I added earlier on in the previous stage to see how we can come up with a great design here. So let's go for our image and icon. So I'm gonna go with, Let's just choose any random icon here. So I'm gonna go with this speaker here. And then for the design tab, this is where I can start to decide what to use. And you're going to see how I'm going to be using contrast in this example. So in fact, you know what? Let's add a background. So I'm gonna start over here with a background. So you can either choose to have a really dark background or a light background. So I'm gonna go with a really dark background like that. And then I'm gonna come over here to design. And let's start with our icon. So these are the colors that I have. So this is the color for my icon. And as you can see, it's blending very well. And because this one, this color here is bright, it really stands out from this dark background. 
But as you're designing this, you know, you can even choose a color like that. You can choose white. It still works as long as you have great contrast. Another way of uh, testing your contrast is just like squinting your eyes and seeing if you can uh, see that thing that you're supposed to be focusing on. All right, so as you can see with my text here, this doesn't look great. So let's go in and change the color for that. So for this one here, I'm gonna go with that and also my description text. Okay, now let's further customize this. Let's say you want to uh, add a circle behind this icon. Let's add our circle. So what color should we add our circle as? So again, you can use the colors that we have here in our color palette. So now I can go with that. So that could work. Or I could use that and that could work really well as well. In fact, you know what? I really like the way this looks. So I'm going to go now and adjust the size. So I'm going to reduce the size a little bit to about, let's say, 32. And now to further design this, I'm going to give this some rounded corners. So I'm going to come all the way down here to border and add some rounded corners. So let's go with, let's say, 10. And I want to give this some breathing space as well. So to do that, I'm going to go to my spacing. And then over here, I'm going to add 30, top, bottom, and left and right. So you can see now that this is looking way much better than it was before. So one final touch I'm going to do here is to increase my size. And I'm going to change this from light to regular. And I'm also going to change my title here and make it bold. Okay, so... I think I'm, I'm happy with that. So as you can see, using my color palette, I was able to go in and choose colors that work well together. But the great takeaway here is I am actually using contrast to build my design. Let's work on another example. So let's say you want to create a form. So if you go to forms, let's go to contact form. So again, I'm gonna use the same principles here about contrast and using our colors. So let's start here by going into design fields. So now I'm gonna start working on my fields. So let's see, so I'm gonna go with a very light color. Now here's another thing that I uh, haven't spoken about, but which we can do. So for our fields background, you notice that these three dots here gives us an expansion of the colors that we have. Now this is Divi giving you extra colors based on an algorithm to help you further design your forms or any elements on your page. So I often use this as well as I'm designing my site and this is great because it gives you other options of colors that you can use that also work well together. So here I'm gonna go with, uh, let's go with a light gray. I'm gonna go with that. And um, for our button here, I'm gonna choose use custom styles for button and I'm gonna change my button color. So maybe I want to, have my button background to be this blue. And the text needs to be white, so it's easier to read. And then I'm going to remove the border radius and also the border width. Okay, so this was easy enough, but let's say I have a background color here. How would I create this form and make it look nice? So I'm gonna go here to my row settings and go to the second column. In fact, you know what? Let's delete the third column there. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the second column here and give this column a background. So the background I'm gonna give this column here is going to be a dark background. But anyway, we've done that example before. So let's go with a light background. So let's go with that. Okay, so that's gonna be our background. So as you can see now, my colors don't look great here. So this is where we can play around with different design options. So I'm gonna save this for now. In fact, before I do that, let me just go in and give this some breathing space by coming over here to design, spacing, and I'm just gonna add a bit of padding here as I did before, just to make my form really stand out. All right, so that's my form. I'm gonna save that. Now let's go in and design this and see how we can make it look better. So I'm gonna click here on design fields. 
So for my fields color, I'm going to get rid of the color itself. And then I'm going to add some borders. But before I go to the borders, let me just add my um, field text color. So I can go with a maybe this dark gray or medium gray. And now I am going to go to the border. Right, so let's go with two pixels. So as you can see, this color here is a bit too harsh. So what I can do now is to expand this and go to my color manager and start experimenting with colors that could work with this design. So that could work. It's not too far from the colors that we have here. So as you can see here, it really works well. And our, color, our colors here match. I can even go for some grays here if I want to. I can even go for this color here for my form. In fact, you know what? Let's go with this. Now let's go to our text and I just want to make sure everything is consistent here. So I am going to choose the font for my fields. So I'm going to change this from default to poppins. And I'm also going to change the color. So for my text color, I'm going to go with something like, let's see. Okay, look at that. Now that looks really nice. I really like uh, the colors here. It's not really like in your face, but it also works with the borders that I've just created here. And my button here, I can also match that with uh, colors from my color palettes if I need to. So let's choose something that's totally different here. So I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with that. And even that, you can see it still works. But if I really want it to stand out, I can go with a color like this. Oops. Let's go with the background color. This is where I'm meant to be. So we can go with that and that also works. So as you can see, all these colors on my color palette work great. So I think I'll just stick to that. Okay. And then finally over here, I'm going to change my font as well to Poppins. And I can also change the color. Now I'm going to go with a color that I used recently. So I'm going to go with, um, Okay, let's go with that so it matches what I have in here. I can save. And now we can see I've just created my own custom form using the methods that I'm using here on the colors. Now we can also use this same technique on our images. So if I uh, add a new row, let's add a brand new image. So I'm going to first create my column and then add image here. So I'm going to add a style to our image to match our designs. So I'm going to choose an image from here. So the image I'm going to go with is, let's have a look. So let's go with this image here. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to design filters. So you can play around now with the filters to try and match, you know, colors that you have here. So let's say you want to, uh, Play around with the saturation here or the U. You can try and play around with that to match, you know, whatever colors that you have on your color palette. And this could be a style that you're going to have throughout all your uh, images on your website. And you can copy this style and paste it on all your images on your website. So pretty much this is how you use color on your web designs. If you like this tutorial, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. All right, guys, until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.